Good Take evening. As district clerk, I'd like to call the budget committee meeting to order for May 16th, 2024. Could we stand for the pledge? Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey, we thought we'd start with a roll call and new member introductions. So Brooks, if you would like to start on that end as the new member, introduce yourself. Or... My name is Brooks Clark. Um, there's really not much to tell about me. <laughs> 40 years old and uh, I live across the street. I've been a resident for six years in, um, in Kingston. Um, I'm a teacher for 13 years now. Um, that's about all. Welcome. Welcome and thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm Terry Beckett. Um, I was just elected to continue. Last year was my one one year of somebody else's um, term, and I just was elected to three years. Um, I'm a retired, semi-retired uh, professor at Endicott College, and um, I live in Newton. And I'm not going to tell you how old I am. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm Amanda Ayala. This is my second year on budget committee I'm in Newton, New Hampshire. I work as an accountant. Um, that's really me in a nutshell. <laughs> um, Dan Guy, this is my third year. I am a Newton resident and a local business. I'm Phyllis Kennedy. I'm district clerk, and this is my ninth year as the administrative assistant to the superintendent. Pam Brown, um, second year on the school budget committee, have served on school board, and I'm also an educator. I'm uh, Matt Malilla. I'm the incoming business administrator. Been in uh, education for about 25 years. Served in every role in a building from teacher, coach, athletic director, assistant principal, principal, and I'm really excited about this role and been working with Matt uh, as part of the transition process for about a month or so now, and we'll continue to do so into the summer, but I'm looking forward to this new uh, this new role, this new challenge, and working with you all. Welcome. And I am Courtney Hewitt. This will be my third year. Um, during the day, I work in compliance, and I have three little kids in the district. <laughs> Eileen. Oh, I'm Eileen Hennessy. No taker. No taker. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, next order of business is it is there a motion for a chairperson? Could I make a motion, please? Yes. Um, first I'd like to say, um, Courtney, I truly, truly appreciate what you did last year. And I know I had a million questions and um I know it was difficult to respond to so many of my complaints. So, I wonder if I, I could make the motion for Pam Brown to be chair for this year. Yes. I'd like to make the motion for Courtney to continue to be chair. I liked working with her last year and I liked how. Okay. Um, let's see. I've never had this. Never happen. had that. <laughs> um, sorry. to. <laughs> so um, do I have a second for Dr. Brown to be a chair this year? I noticed the guidelines indicate no second is needed okay. for the chair. I have them somewhere in my file here. <laughs> so we go straight to a vote then, is that correct? Maybe we could do a little speech before we vote. No. Okay, sure. Um, I guess. <laughs> this is the first for me, but. <laughs> I don't know if Ken's with us yet, but he's probably not, is he? Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, hi. Uh, I'm interested in running for budget committee chair because I feel we can definitely improve our committee procedures. Um, I noticed some issues last year where we had meetings that hadn't been noticed, um, 48 hour notice, and we had one meeting where we didn't have a quorum because um, there was no agenda posted and we had discussed doing the work on through emails and that didn't happen. So I think we need to definitely improve informing our members if we're dealing with an almost $40 million budget. Um, we were told we'd have a meeting after the deliberative to re-vote on warrants and that did not happen. Also, I just want to, everyone to understand that we have two sets of minutes that have been posted on the SAU page, but they have not been officially approved by our committee. 
Um, so that definitely needs to be something we watch for. And we had no discussion of the Warren articles prior to the votes, so that should have happened. Our Google Docs are very difficult to navigate. They're very labyrinthine and there are many subdirectories. And our guidelines needed an update last year and that did not happen. So as your chair, I've got many other ideas for improving our bud budget committee, but those are just some of the issues that came up. And I really think when we have such a significant budget, we need to pay attention to noticing members, posting agendas in a timely manner, and making sure that we pr provide reminders to our committee members. So that's why I'm running. Um, I will say that last year is my first year running as chair. <laughs> um, and um, Annie did help me out a little bit. I tried as vice chair the first year. Um, I wholly agree um, that some of the communication channels were not what they should have been. So I'm not going to pretend like they weren't. Um, but I did um, chat with Matt and we kind of came up with a schedule and a plan um, and agendas for the coming year. Um, so those are uh, in good shape as far. So I think there was some hiccups on expectations. Um, but uh, I would say that the Believe it or not, the Google Drive's, I think, in better shape than it was. But uh, <laughs> um, so I think maybe there's an opportunity for feedback um, that was missed throughout the year. Um, so, you know, I'm always open to feedback on that front. I, you know, <laughs> try to be organized and see hear both sides of the story um, and try to facilitate the meetings the best that I can. Um, I'm happy to continue in the role. Oh, oh, oh Ken is awesome. Oh, welcome, Ken. Um, and you know, with the thought that whoever was going to be vice chair was going to be for me, um, this is my last year too, or my last term. So, um, we need to have a, a plan in place for transition anyway. So, it was like part of the year was going to be, um, trying to figure out who the, the new people are if in case I'm not around next year. Um, so that's, I don't have anything planned. <laughs> um, I will just wholly admit that uh, I think I was trying to please everyone <laughs> by trying to set up the meetings the way the best that I could. Um, and it kind of, maybe things didn't go, or they definitely didn't go as smoothly as they could have. So um, I apologize on that on my uh, for that, Pam, um, and that you felt that way. Um, so yeah, I mean, I don't have, that's all I have. <laughs> um, I just want to acknowledge Mr. Anthony, uh, who is remote this evening and, um, uh, Ken, can you hear us? <laughs> He's muted. Oh. Hi, Ken. oh, there I am. Hi, I just wanted to, to acknowledge that you are remote this evening and just Usually what we do at the board meeting is have you state your name and location if any, and if anyone is with you in the room. No, I'm alone. Okay, welcome. Um, and just to catch you up, I don't know if you've seen that we've, we've heard from two people who were nominated for chair. One is Dr. Brown and the other is Courtney Hewitt. And they've each talked about why they would like to be, um, you know, why they feel that they are a good fit for the position. So mm -hmm. I think we're about to vote if, if, if that's, Okay, great. Um, could we have um, a vote for Dr. Brown as chair? All in favor? It's two. And Ken? Yes. Oh, three. So that's three. Okay. And do we have a vote? The vote for Courtney, please. Do I get to vote for myself? <laughs> I do. Okay. Three. So it's three to three. Wait. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three. Four. It's four. Courtney and Brooks. Oh, four. I didn't see you. <laughs> Brooks is hiding in the corner. Sorry, I didn't see you, Brooks. I didn't see your hand. Okay, wonderful. Congratulations, Courtney. Um, and you can move up to this, and then you can proceed with non-meeting. So, 
Um, up next is um, election of the vice chair. Do we have any nominations for that? I'd like to nominate. Do you have any other nominations? You sound like it. Okay. All right. Can we vote? Yep. All right. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Uh, two, three, four. Okay. And I'll, again, so all in favor? So. All right. Um, so. Check and check. Welcome to Vice Chair Amanda. Wow. <laughs> All right. So as Pam mentioned, there were some um, discussions around approval of the minutes. And so again, expectations around the minutes was unclear for me and for this group. And Eileen was just helping us out. Um, the minutes are intended to be a brief overview of the conversations that were happening in line with the agenda. Um, Pam, I think there's a lot of extra com or a lot of conversations, great conversations we have, but we record the videos and those are available to the public. Um, so I think it's fair to say that we can put, um, or the intent of the meeting minutes is for a high level overview of the conversations, what was talked about and we rely on the video to convey the full message and everything if they have additional questions. Um, as far as the process of making sure they, they get onto the, the website and everything, I think I can work with Phyllis to fix that. That's, um, again, uh, getting used to the, the, the flow of things. Um, but I know Eileen has been doing a great job getting the meeting minutes out to us for review. Um, so I appreciate that. Um, so we have two sets of minutes. We do. Um, and I think the uh, first set was, we were just, I think we went into discussion around what we're talking about. How far do we go into the, the details? Um, so we had some from, was it November and January? For November 30th. I watched the video again just to make sure I wasn't mistaken. And we decided I would be allowed to try some bullet points. Okay. And we just tabled it. So it never was approved. Okay. Um, but I'm just going to leave the way, leave the draft as is. <clears throat> okay. So that we don't have to go through any bullet points. Um, and we could also attach the three emails that were exchanged. And then Tom came in and told us, don't discuss things through emails because it violates a meeting. Okay. So we could even attach the three emails that were exchanged to the 1130 minutes. Just so it's public information. Okay. I can send that. All right, there were three emails. I'm gonna have to jog my memory, Pam. The emails were back and forth about the meeting minutes. About, about my comments being added in to the minutes, my written comments. So you want a document that we... It's just a suggestion. It's a way to provide transparency. Well, most of them were from between me and Pam. And yes, correct. I'm fine with it. It's fine. To attach the emails to the minutes. Okay. It's... I can do that, sure. It's not a big deal. I'm fine with it. That'll be help from Phyllis, right? Yes. yes. Eileen. And that's fine. It's All right. so action. between me and Pam. All right. So action one, three emails, two minutes. And I'm gonna have we can send it to Eileen and Phyllis. So those three emails are, are between Pam and Dan, and that's all, right? Yeah, yeah, I think Tom had one in there, too. I, I don't think we'd be see, uh, so. I, I don't have access to No, that. no, no, when I get it, we can, me and Pam can talk and figure out which ones that Pam wants. And you'll was, there, was there just three? Just attach it to the November 30th uh, yeah. minutes. They're just emails regarding 
minutes. I, I understand where that's at. Do you want me to receive those emails and, and attach them? Or are you going to have Kim do that before she posts? Kim? I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I can send them to you, CC to Courtney, so you can see them. Or I can also cut and paste them into a PDF so it's easier to attach. PDFs usually best so it doesn't get modified or anything. Okay. Yep, um, I can do that. I, I assumed that we would have to link it to the meeting minutes in some capacity. Yeah, I think a PDF is best. It'd be easier that way. Okay. Yeah, PDF the email, but I feel like in the meeting minute notes, like how the attached you minutes, the attached email. It's fine. Like I think you just need to add a reference, Eileen. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. That way, to know yep, that's fine. You were going to do that process. Yep. Um. We have to get it to Phyllis. We'll get it to Phyllis. Whatever we need to do, we'll do that. <laughs> no problem. No, we're not. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just for you. The action is add a reference to the meeting minutes. Mm -hmm. um, and then we can have Phyllis update what we have on the site. The post minutes. Yeah, yep, the posted minutes. So move to approve the November 30 minutes. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And for the January 9th. It's ready? Nope. Uh, yep. We'll need to strike this since we have just approved it tonight. Okay. So we can't say during the January 9th meeting we'd approve. <laughs> yep. So we talked about it though, right? So accepted but not approved. Okay. Um, we're modifying it. So there's a note, Eileen, on the January 9th ones where it says that we voted on the November 30th. I think we could probably just say we discussed the meeting minutes from November 30th instead of accepted. Okay. Does that make sense? And then it'll be kind of a package deal. We'll get these two cleaned up. You could make a motion to, um, to modify the minutes, everyone vote on it, and then make another motion to accept the amended okay. minutes and then push it up. Okay. So I move to amend the minutes of January 9th to say discussed minutes of November 30th rather than accepted. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I make a motion to uh, approve the amended minutes for January uh, 9th. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Wonderful. Aye. So. Meeting minutes, the least fun <laughs> oh, part of this. No, all right. So, um, budget process. So, um, we have a draft calendar, and we can talk about dates. Um, so Matt. So, ahead. yep. So where um, is this available? Oh. I, I'm sorry, I did, I did not. That's again. It's, we it's on the um, is shared drive. Okay, and I believe Matt emailed it to us as well. Yeah. I forgot my computer. That's what I, I would send my students home. If they forgot. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. So we it's on the email. Okay. okay. Yeah. So we 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 put together the the draft budget calendar earlier in the spring. Uh, most of the dates for the, the the meetings and the communication has to go out to the community regarding the budget process. A lot of those are driven by the stat, state statutes. So, uh, but um, there could be some changes based on state guidance or um, you know, our, our uh, district attorney um, may may, ha may change slightly. I did notice, you know, just something that uh, we had picked up and didn't, didn't change was the Carishtown News was still listed. So obviously that's going to change. That'll be the Eagle Tribune. I thought that had made the um, edits, but 
There will be some slight changes, but again, a lot of this is again based on state statutes, and it's very specific when these um, different uh, events or meetings have to occur. And and when it becomes final, we'll certainly share it with you. So, Brooks, you're new. Huh. <laughs> um, yes, I am. There's a a whole two pages of dates on here. Mm -hmm. um, I think. If I am looking at this from our perspective, um, we look at November 6th, the superintendent presents the recommended budget at a joint meeting. Um, and the past couple of years, we've had the opportunity to meet with the department heads um, and talk to them about how they built their budget, which I think was a really good um, change to the process. And so that's really the, the first meeting um, where we hear what they're proposing. Um, and then it kind of goes, it's busy uh, until it uh, the uh, public hearing public hearings that occur I'm assuming they're in the January time frame again January, February I think what you should do is do your commentary when we're because on the, the next budget item is the set meeting dates okay calendar here has all those important dates but it relates yep. to the um, budget committee okay uh, wonderful yeah what I what I did is is I've highlighted or I bolded each of the meeting dates. Okay. Um, so let's see. Let, let me kind of go through this really quick. Okay. So okay. tonight's organizational meeting. I'm hoping next week to walk through um, the facilities with anyone who wants to do it. Um, we'll talk about that in a few minutes. Um, at the beginning of September, the business administrator is going to provide five years of, of um, data for you guys to consider. And then we're going to have a budget committee meeting on the same day. And we're going to talk about the budget process. Um, there could be a um, another meeting or some type of notification. <laughs> okay, I'm going, to, I'm just going to come out from the school board. Um, you some potatoes on chicken. <laughs> we mute him. <laughs> okay, so on the 19th, um, we're going to have a budget committee meeting, and, and this is where we're going to start. <sighs> budget committee meeting for the business administrator for the presentation of answers to questions, questions that were received from the budget committee. Um, um, By the 12th. Dates. Yeah, we haven't determined the date yet. Mm. Um. That's actually going to be in the agenda item. Uh, November 16th, I'm sorry, November 6th is when we have the, uh, the superintendent presents the recommended budget, operating budget to the joint uh, meeting of the school board and the budget committee. Um, we'll see the 15th is the deadline to submit questions to the new business administrator. Um, uh, the business administrator responds by email that on the 26th. The 25th, the school board is going to recommend the operating budget to the budget committee. And then December 6th is when the budget committee is going to meet. And that's going to be your first night in which you're going to start deliberating on the budget. Um, there's going to be um, uh, another date scheduled for the 12th, just in case one hasn't been approved by the budget committee on the 6th. Then um, the 9th is going to be the um, public hearing, uh, preparation for the public hearing. And then you're going to vote on the warrant article recommendations. Okay. On January 16th is when you're going to have the uh, public hearing on the, um, on the budget and warrant articles. And then on after that meeting, we need to meet just for a few minutes so that you can sign the MS 27, which is the, which is the budget, the state budget form. Okay. And then, then the 25th of February is the deliberative session. It's the first session of, uh, of school district meeting. And then March 11th is the second session of school district meeting, which is the, the day that everyone votes. Okay. Amazing. Those are the important dates. Mm -hmm. Set in stone ahead of time. <laughs> um, perfect. Um, I think where we struggled last time was the TBD one. Um, so we'll, we'll take it from there. Uh, this year, um, comments, 
question. So you're giving people two weeks. They'll will get, I'm guessing on the shared drive, five years of actual expenditures plus the current year offering. And then two weeks between that to look at it, digest it, submit your questions and all that stuff. Yes. Okay. I'm hoping. I get it. That's the plan. Yes. Yeah. No, I yeah. understand. And then the, almost the same thing, two weeks ish um, after the budget is presented. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And, and Brooks, the, when you look at the, the first round of questions, it's more like learning how everything operates. So just ask lots of questions. Mm -hmm. So when the actual budget comes around, you, you kind of have a basis of understanding of what's going on. Okay. It was really helpful for me <laughs> the first time around. Yeah, don't be afraid to ask questions for sure because it's it's a lot. Like when you see their breakdowns, you're like, what is happening? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're more than willing to answer all the stupid questions that you think are stupid or I thought were stupid and they're happy to just, you know, explain. It to You're me. a friend of the department had one, right? Yeah. Well, like we're, them, we're, you know, yeah, I mean, but that was a great, I mean, I've never done that in other districts. I've been in four districts and having sat, department. having sat as the principal, it's great. Yeah, it's like speed department. dating. Literally. It's like people just jumping tables and asking questions and that yeah, one's really very good. informative. That was fun. Awesome. I learned about school accounting, all those numbers mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and how everything is allocated. Yeah. Um, so I had and like a lot of had questions around the programs that we have in the district um, and get those out of the way. But uh, we have, we implemented uh, an Excel spreadsheet so we can just see all the questions everyone's asked. And then um, Matt will answer those in the spreadsheet and then uh, any themes we can pull out and discuss. But for the most part, some of the stuff is like, basic and you can see all the answers in the spreadsheet and we can post those too or we post the questions and answers yeah. any other questions on budget process and calendar or the calendar specifically so the meetings are going to be seven o'clock for us and then six when we do stuff with the school board again correct so that is our that's a goal. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is up to us. We get to set the date and time for the meetings. Um, I know that Wednesdays is a busy day for school board, so I don't, yeah. Uh, the joint meetings are usually earlier because it takes longer. Yes. Yeah. You know, it's more time consuming, so. Yep. So joint meetings are usually, or the school budget joint meeting is a Wednesday at 6. And then the joint meeting with budget committee is at our time slot. And our current time slot is Thursday at seven. And I think we need to vote on that. And if we want to keep the Thursday at seven time frame. So move. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So um let me just make a motion first, right? Did I kind of no, he means so moved means we're voting on that. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll second you, Ken. And uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Uh, okay, perfect. So, Thursdays, um, and I'm sure that's what the dates were that you reflected in the calendar, anyways. Yes. But um, so, Thursday, 7 p.m. here um, is the plan, unless communicated otherwise. Um, and then there'll be just the, again, to Amanda's point, the joint school board meeting will be a slightly different date and time. And Matt, could you email us this document? The one um, I've got is the school board's calendar. That's all I've received. Yes. No, I think he emailed us. I thought you did email. Yeah, yeah I thought so, but. I'll, I'll check again. I will, I will make sure that you get it. Okay. Thank you, Matt. Mm-hmm. Do you want to go over the the facility tours? Yes. Yes. Um, so we've picked the date. So facility tours. Um, this is something else that Matt has supported over the past couple of years. Um, and he breaks it up into Bakey Swayze Memorial, and we have the leased building um, right next to Memorial. And then where we are now, the high school, middle school combined. Um, I think it's good to see the buildings, understand where the the strengths and weaknesses, we'll say, <laughs> of the building. I think the capital budget is one of the largest chunk or, or a large chunk of the budget. 
Um, so it's good to see the buildings that we're maintaining. Um, Brooks, you are <laughs> the one new person. Um, so I did want to ask, like, reach out to you and see if you were interested. And then anyone else obviously can join as well. Um, yeah, absolutely. Everybody's invited to go. Yes. Okay. And we're going to go through and see absolutely everything um, on this building. You're going to go out on the roof. You're going to see all the boilers. We're going to walk through the water treatment facility. Um, everything is going to be opened up so you can see it. And, and I was talking to Brooks earlier about like the size of, of our operations. That's, it's kind of interesting. We go through this year, we went through 75,000 gallons, but it can all uh, of heating oil. Sometimes we go up to 90,000 gallons of heating oil, depending upon, um, the severity of the winter. We consume about 1.6 to 1.7 million kilowatt hours of electricity every year, um, which is pretty substantial. So it's very interesting to to do one of these walkthrough tours. Okay. And what I was hoping to do is to- Went on several of your tours last year. You get a wonderful, a wonderful yeah. very, very informative. You explain things very well. Okay, great, thank you. And you're welcome to come again because there have been some changes since last year. So um, what I'm hoping to do is do them Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of next week. Um, if that doesn't work with the committee, I can always reschedule it for any other time. And really, I will take time out of my day before the end of June to, to do tours of these buildings with you. Okay. Are there any good days that for you that, or would you rather... Stick with next week. Matt, what time are you thinking of doing them? Yes. I was thinking of doing them uh, probably at five, so that you can see them in in, in the daylight. In the light. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's going to take a couple of hours to get through some of these buildings, mm -hmm. especially the um, Bakey Swayze um, Gym Complex, uh, because we also have to circle in the Chase Field House, which is on the other side of the playing field over there. Okay. I'm, I'm available on Fridays. You are. Okay. We can do, do you, did you want to see all the buildings on Fridays? Because I can make it every Friday. It would work for me. Okay. In May, right? I will, I will try to also do other tours on every Friday and I'll put out a schedule for um, the committee. So every Friday except the 31st is perfect for me. Okay. Perfect. All right. When is your official last day? It's going to be the 28th. Okay. That's the Friday. Okay. Even though I'm, I'm really on until the 30th. <laughs> <laughs> so we're looking at like the 24th, the 7th and the 14th could potentially work for everyone. Yes. That's good for me. Unless someone's unless someone's attending the high school graduation, that's the seventh. It is, yeah. That's probably not a good day. Are you attending the high school graduation? I have. <laughs> you have. I know. I may, may. I'll sit in for you. Yeah. <laughs> you can do a tour. Or we could do the twenty first instead. I mean, I'm. This is where it gets fun. Yeah. So how about this? Um. The 24th, maybe the 24th, 31st, and the 14th. And then, Amanda, if you, maybe we can find another day to see one of the buildings. Okay. Because maybe you can go to Memorial with me, because I'm not, uh, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to, I'm not sure which days I'll be able to make it just yet. I have to look at my home calendar <laughs> um, for the Friday nights. Um, but I would like to see Memorial of these buildings. So maybe Amanda and I could tag team that one. I'm putting it up on the screen right there. I'm adjusting this. Okay. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to do two sets of tours. Okay. okay so the, you said the 31st, the 24th, yep. and, and the what, 14th. What else? And the 14th, so that you don't get to, it's your last graduation. I'm not gonna let you mm -hmm. miss your last graduation. I don't actually walk <laughs> I'm not there. I think you should. Right. 
Um, I may have a scheduling conflict for the 31st. Okay. Um, I have my own graduation that I may have to go to if it gets rained out on the 30th. Uh, all right. Hopefully it doesn't get rained out and I'll be all set for the 31st. So. I don't know if there's any winning on this one. <laughs> <laughs> um let's let's try this that and i get i don't think it's going to be perfect but i think matt and matt are willing to meet with us um separately if if needed um but let's try the 24th 31st and the 14th and then if it's we have to schedule another one i think we can just reach out yep. to these guys and we can that's that works out. absolutely and i don't have my key anymore for this building otherwise i'd go after this oh <laughs> Unless you have it, it took it away. Of course, I have one. You have it. I have a key at every building now. Okay. I mean, if you want to walk around the building after this, we can do this building. It only takes about an hour. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Matt loves showing around, and there's like something in the, aud the auditorium where you go up some crazy oh. stairs. I was like, nope, I think I'm all set. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, awesome. All right. Seriously appreciate the tours. Thank you um, for being flexible on that front. Um, let's see how it goes on those dates and then try to sneak some in for the end of June if we have to. Um, side ones. Um, all right. That is the end of our agenda for the topics. We have public comments, which have any so many members here i don't yeah. know <laughs> yep and then um committee comment um i just go around the table style so um brooks do you have anything not really <laughs> i'm just trying to take it all in right now <laughs> um i just put everybody on the spot so they at least uh, feel like they have a moment that's all right um, <laughs> and terry my only concern is communication if i'm not receiving my email or something because okay. i text emailed you about this meeting and i'm not getting responses so is there a better way that i can get answers okay. about meetings and schedules and things i don't know if i'm using the wrong the okay. wrong email i don't know if, if there's better ways of getting some better communication yeah you can oh if you don't see anything you can always text me um i the we can, it, I think the email part is, um, yep, I don't, I think if you're, if something's not getting answered and you need a, an answer, like text me is fine. Uh, you can text me real quick. Um, Maybe that's what I need to do because I hadn't, I, I had asked for a confirmation about tonight's meeting and I didn't get that. So I wasn't sure, but then I went on to the official webpage and I was able to find it, but I need some way of some better communication. Okay. How can I text you? Yep, you have. We've talked. We have each other's number. Oh, okay. That that is. I have called you. Uh, we've talked. Yeah. Okay. Um, but as far as the meeting goes, I think uh, the I think the information was in original email, but we can talk about it and we can come up with a game plan. Better Excellent. Excellent. Amanda, um, I'm excited to dig in. I looking forward to it since last year was kind of just the learning. Yeah. Um, yep. And I guess it's now, uh, you can always reach out to Amanda too. You can include us on the email. <laughs> okay. that helps too. Uh, tag team it. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> awesome. Thank you, Amanda. Um, Dan. No, I'm good. All right. Um, I am good for right now. Thank you. Um, looking forward to a another good budget committee cycle. Um, and I really appreciate everything Matt has done. Mm. I have a card for you, Matt, but I'll hand it to you later. Um, <laughs> seriously, your contributions have been amazing mm. um, the past two years that I've been here. I really appreciate it. So um, thank you for that. And look forward to working with all of you. How are you doing, Pam? So I got a short one and a long one. Um, the short one is we used to post our monthly financial reports on the SAU page, um, but that stopped on April 2023. So could we possibly have those posted 
regularly now, or is, was there some reason why we stopped doing that? We haven't been posting them on our website. Uh, are you talking about the budget committee? These are these go to the finance committee, school board, I believe. Okay. Under okay. under district information, there's a link to monthly. Start. Oh, great! Thank you so much. I was setting up the drive to do it today. Oh, cool! Mm -hmm. okay. Thank it you was so much. To our drive with Jamie, right? Let yes, me get we something can. we can. Yeah. yeah. And and the reason why I don't put it out on the website is that's how uh, the perpetrator was able to to steal about two million dollars oh. from. Um, beautiful. Wow. Good reason to post. So my longer comment is just some reflections on the March election we just had. Um, I think we should aim to really control costs in, for the coming fiscal year. We're planning on 25-26 um, because I noticed a majority of Newton voters voted down the expensive three-year collective bargaining agreement, though it did pass with a 53% Kingston majority. I don't know if anyone noticed that. Second, we did lose the March vote for Fremont uh, tuitioning in, and the last of the freshmen will be here for 25, 26 year, and then enrollment will drop. Um, and third, we have a collective bargaining agreement that's weighted toward um, greater salary increases for entry level teachers, but um, it's light on increases for senior staff. Now the teachers know we lost Fremont. The teachers see the structure of the new agreement. And as board member Rick Edelman said on January 3rd, we, have, we may have trouble keeping and recruiting staff if we are known to be reducing sections in the long run. So I know the superintendent's interested in retaining quality teachers and to avoid rifts, I suggest that the different departments look at making program and schedule adjustments now. This will free up funds to fix compensation at the senior end of the grid without causing a revolt in Newton. Um, I'm asking the board and our departments to take a good look at the schedule, perhaps retire courses like the history of rock and roll. That's one of my things, um, that particular course. And I'd recommend everyone take a look at the Sanborn High School Program of Studies. There are lots of details on the types of programs that we fund. Um, I know that athletics is a big issue for um, some of our budget committee members, but believe me, the biggest driver of costs is staffing. Um, if staff expectations are understood, then we'll have an increased chance of retaining staff and avoid heavy expensive expenses for professional development training due to turnover. And so it's, that's my main concern. I know that there's an, an issue with special ed costs going up, but I voted no on the particular warrant article adding to the special ed fund because I do know we have a contingency fund available for emergencies. It's 2.5% of total net pro uh, property assets in our towns. And this current year we had a fund that equaled about more than $600,000. So we always have that. We must remain firm in our efforts to control the budget, including spending on special ed by remembering that these fiscal safety valves are in place. Thank you. That's all I have. Thank you, Pam. And Just can't have anything. Oh, can. Yes. No. Have any no comment? comment. Okay. <laughs> Good call out. <laughs> Want to forget them? Nope. Uh, we really do. Um. All right. Um. With that, um, our next meeting is going to be September fifth here 7 p.m at the high school library so that's the plan is meetings are here 7 p.m mm -hmm. at the library all right so uh, if, what is the purpose of, of that meeting just um... well matt I, I i don't have it in front of me matt but didn't you mentioned there was like five years of oh, um, okay. yeah. and, then, of and then you're gonna data. talk about um when you're going to be handing your questions in 
the chair is going to talk about the spreadsheet and, and where to enter the questions. Um, so there, I, I believe it's a, it's going to be a Thursday that, that the deadline is handed to the business administrator the following Friday, that next Friday. So he's got a week to go and answer questions. Okay. And the business. All right. Thank you. So back to, is it two weeks or one week? It's two. Okay. It's the, the, that meeting's on the 5th. And then the questions need to be submitted by the 12th. So you're, it's almost two weeks. And then the next meeting is the 19th, which is two That's weeks. seven days. That's a week. What? The 5th to the 19th is a week? The 5th to the 12th. Is the 5th to the 12th. Oh, wow. us, I see what you're saying. We only have a week to look at it all and oh, get to the question. Okay. That's the part that I I struggle with a little bit. Um, earlier. Awesome. Yeah. That would be amazing. That would be okay. great. Much all summer. <laughs> <laughs> Even better. <laughs> one. Um, all right. And sorry, one last thing. Brooks, uh, you should have access to our shared drive. Mm -hmm. As Pam pointed out, there's like a lot of historical data in there. There's a lot of other stuff going on there. Um, I'll take I tried to reorganize it last year, but well, where I'm going with this. Last year's questions are on there, so you can have an idea of what the other stuff is. If you snoop, snoop around in there, you can find um, some previous year's information. Sounds good. All right. All right. And it is 7.52. I'm calling a uh, meeting to an end. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Um, and I will see you in September. <laughs>